Joff Summerfield wants to see the world on two wheels. It's crazy and it's eccentric, but I'm English and that's what we are. <laughs> so that's cool. That's what the Brits call a penny farthing. It is uncomfortable, it is inefficient, um, it is hard work. A late 1800s style bicycle that can be a pain. I mean, there's solid tyres, so you feel every bump in the road um, and you get sore where you really shouldn't be sore. But on his journey, this odd contraption... So this was in North Dakota. ...has opened doors. And it was in an electric wheelchair. Kind of makes you appreciate what you have got. Think of it as the most exhausting conversation piece ever. The bike introduces me to a lot of people, um, and it instantly makes you innocent, and, and I just kind of leave a, a trail of smiles behind in my wake a lot of the time, or laughter, and, and that's okay, that's fine, it's all positive. This will be Summerfield's second ride around the world. All expenses come out of his own pocket. He sold his bike shop, everything he had, because of something... The call of the road. ...that's hard to explain. You know, I was comfortable where I was living and the business was good, and... But you have to ask yourself, where have I been the most happy? And, and that was on the road. Everything Summerfield owns is on this bike. Yeah, it's the most... A valuable thing that I have. And he says that not because of its monetary value, but more because of the 30,000 miles of life experience he spent on it. That to me is the calling. I want to see more and more.